Hi, I'm Chris Benzer, Culinary Director at Ristelli Market Fresh, and this is your Fox Food Bite. Today we're doing an acorn squash with dried fruit and nuts. This is a great fall item and it's great as a side dish for any meal. Now again, this is a winter squash, so the skin is pretty thick, so you gotta be very careful as you cut this. Cut in half first, so I'm able to cut, scoop the seeds out a lot easier. So what you wanna do is scoop the seeds out. Just keep turning it in your hand, dig into the flesh a little bit, and there you have it. So we wanna quarter these squash. So we're just gonna, again, cut them in half again. Here we go. So the next step I want to do is I want to just put a couple score marks on the squash. And what that does, it allows the seasoning that we're going to put on next to kind of bake in and give it some better flavor. We want to get two tablespoons of melted butter, a tablespoon of brown sugar, our curry, a pinch of salt, and we want to stir that in so it just melts. Take a, a brush, we'll base the squash generously. Don't be shy here. This is the nice good stuff. This is what's going to give that squash that great flavor. So now we're going to transfer these to the cookie sheet, and we're going to get them in the oven. Again, if you have a convection oven at home, it might take a little bit shorter time. So now we're going to make the fruit and apple compote. First, we're going to start with taking an apple. We want to peel it up. You can use any apple, any favorite apple that you have. I'm just going to take the skin off here. We're going to cut the apple in half because we want to remove the core, get the seeds out. Just want to cut that in nice dice. We're going to add a quarter cup of dried cranberries, a quarter cup of raisins, a quarter cup of pecans. We're going to add two tablespoons of molasses, four tablespoons of maple syrup, a zest of an orange, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a couple sprigs of fresh thyme. And then we're going to take this, we're going to mix this very gently. You want this just so it's all mixed together nice and even. So now we'll add the olive oil to the hot pan. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scrape out the mixture into the pan. You want to cook this for about five minutes until the apples and stuff start getting a little bit tender. And what's going to happen is this maple syrup and this molasses is going to start to caramelize a little bit, thicken up a little bit. So this is caramelizing real nice. It's been about five minutes. So we want to add our orange juice. And this is fresh squeezed orange juice. And our bourbon gives it a nice flavor. We're going to let that cook for an additional five minutes, stirring. This is reducing very nicely. It's starting to thicken. The squash has just come out of the oven. It's really tender and beautiful. It's ready to go. We generously want to scoop this, this compote on top of our squash. It's almost like we're stuffing it. These are ready to go back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. They've been in the oven for about 20 minutes. It's nice, caramelized and bubbling. They're ready to go. It's tender. Let's give this a try. See how soft that is? Exquisite. I'm Chris Menser, Culinary Director at Ristelli Market Fresh, and this has been your Fox Food Bite.